The Latin name Libya from Greek Libye, Libye referred to the region west of the Nile generally corresponding to the modern Maghreb. Its people were ancestors of the modern Berbers. Berbers occupied the area for thousands of years before the beginning of human records in ancient Egypt. Climate changes affected the locations of the settlements. More narrowly, Libya could also refer to the country immediately west of Egypt, viz Marmarica Libya inferior and Cyrenaica Libya superior. The Libyan sea or mare Libicum was the part of the Mediterranean Sea south of Crete, between Cyrene and Alexandria. In the Hellenistic period, the Berbers were known as Libyans, a Greek term for the inhabitants of the Maghreb. Their lands were called Libya and extended from modern Morocco to the western borders of ancient Egypt. Modern Egypt contains the Siwa oasis, which was part of ancient Libya. The Siwi language, a Berber language, is still spoken in the area. Name Topic. The Greek name is based on the ethnonym Libu ancient Greek, Libyes Libyes, Latin, Libyes. The name Libya in use since 1934 for the modern country formerly known as Tripolitania and Barca was the Latin designation for the region of the Maghreb, from the ancient Greek Attic Greek, Libye Libwe, Doric Greek, Libya Libua. In classical Greece, the term had a broader meaning, encompassing the continent that later 2nd century BC became known as Africa, which, in antiquity, was assumed to constitute one-third of the world's land mass, compared to Europe and Asia combined. The Libu are attested since the Late Bronze Age as inhabiting the region Egyptian Arb, Punic, Lby. The oldest known references to the Libu date to Ramesses II and his successor Merneptah, pharaohs of the 19th dynasty of Egypt, during the 13th century BC. Lbw appears as an ethnic name on the Merneptah steel. Menelaus had travelled there on his way home from Troy. It was a land of wonderful richness, where the lambs have horns as soon as they are born, where use lamb three times a year and no shepherd ever goes short of milk, meat or cheese. Homer names Libya, in Odyssey X.95, 23.311. Homer used the name in a geographic sense, while he called its inhabitants, Lotus Eaters. After Homer, Aeschylus, Pindar, and other ancient Greek writers used the name. Herodotus 1 used Libye Libwe to indicate the African continent. The Libus proper were the light-skinned North Africans, while those south of Egypt and Elephantine on the Nile were known to him as Ethiopians. This was also the understanding of later Greek geographers such Diodorus Siculus, Strabo, etc. When the Greeks actually settled in the real Libya in the 630s, the old name taken from the Egyptians was applied by the Greeks of Cyrenaica, who may have coexisted with the Libu. Later, the name appeared in the Hebrew language, written in the Bible as Lahabim and Lubim, indicating the ethnic population and the geographic territory as well. In the Neo-Punic inscriptions, it was written as Lby for the masculine noun, and Lbt for the feminine noun of Libyan. Latin absorbed the name from Greek and the Punic languages. The Romans would have known them before their colonization of North Africa because of the Libyan role in the Punic Wars against the Romans. The Romans used the name Libus, but only when referring to Barca and the Libyan desert of Egypt. The other Libyan territories were called Africa. Classical Arabic literature called Libya Lubya, indicating a speculative territory west of Egypt. Modern Arabic uses Libya. The Lwatae, the tribe of Ibn Battuta, as the Arabs called it, was a Berber tribe that mainly was situated in Cyrenaica. This tribe may have ranged from the Atlantic Ocean to modern Libya, however, and was referred to by Corippus as Laguatan, he linked them with the Moors. Ibn Khaldun's Mukadima states Luwa was an ancestor of this tribe. He writes that the Berbers add an A and T to the name for the plural forms. Subsequently, it became Lwat. Conversely, the Arabs adopted the name as a singular form, adding an H for the plural form in Arabic. Ibn Khaldun disagrees with Ibn Hazam, who claimed, mostly on the basis of Berber sources, that the Lwa Ta, in addition to the Sidrata and the Mazada, were from the Qibts Egyptians. According to Ibn Khaldun, this claim is incorrect because Ibn Hazam had not read the books of the Berber scholars. Oric Bates, a historian, considers that the name Libu or Lbw would be derived from the name Luwada, whilst the name Liwada is a derivation of the name Libu. Topic: History. Topic. 
Compared with the history of Egypt, historians know little about the history of Libya, as there are few surviving written records. Information on ancient Libya comes from archaeological evidence and historic sources written by Egyptians' neighbors, the ancient Greeks, Romans, and Byzantines, and from Arabs of medieval times. Since Neolithic times, the climate of North Africa has become drier. A reminder of the desertification of the area is provided by megalithic remains, which occur in great variety of form and in vast numbers in presently arid and uninhabitable wastelands. Dolmens and circles like Stonehenge, cairns, underground cells excavated in rock, barrows topped with huge slabs, and steppe pyramid like mounds. Most remarkable are the trilithons, some still standing, some fallen, which occur isolated or in rows, and consist of two squared uprights standing on a common pedestal that supports a huge transverse beam. In the Turgert Valley, Cowper says, "...there had been originally no less than 18 or 20 megalithic trilithons, in a line, each with its massive altar placed before it." In ancient times, the Phoenicians and Carthaginians, the Persian Achaemenid Empire see Libya satrapy, the armies of Alexander the Great and his Ptolemaic successors from Egypt, then Romans, Vandals, and local representatives of the Byzantine Empire ruled all or parts of Libya. The territory of modern Libya had separate histories until Roman times, as Tripoli and Cyrenaica. Cyrenaica, by contrast, was Greek before it was Roman. It was also known as Pentapolis, the five cities. Being Cyrene near the village of Shahat with its port of Apollonia Marsa Susa, Arsino Takra, Berenice Benghazi and Barca merge. From the oldest and most famous of the Greek colonies the fertile coastal plain took the name of Cyrenaica. These five cities were also known as the Western Pentapolis, not to be confused with the Pentapolis of the Roman era on the current West Italian coast. Geography <laughs> Topic. The exact boundaries of ancient Libya are unknown. It lay west of ancient Egypt and was known as Chihenu to the ancient Egyptians. Libya was an unknown territory to the Egyptians, it was the land of the spirits. To the ancient Greeks, Libya was one of the three known continents along with Asia and Europe. In this sense, Libya was the whole known African continent to the west of the Nile Valley and extended south of Egypt. Herodotus described the inhabitants of Libya as two peoples, the Libyans in northern Africa and the Ethiopians in the south. According to Herodotus, Libya began where ancient Egypt ended, and extended to Cape Spartel, south of Tangier on the Atlantic coast. Modern geographers suspect that ancient Libyans may have experienced loss of forests, reliable fresh water sources, and game availability as the area became more desert-like. Later sources after the Egyptians, the Greeks, Romans, and Byzantines mentioned various other tribes in Libya, later tribal names differ from the Egyptian ones but, probably, some tribes were named in the Egyptian sources and the later ones, as well. The Meshwesh tribe represents this assumption. Scholars believe it would be the same tribe called Mazes by Hectios and Maxis by Herodotus, while it was called Mazaces and Mazics in Latin sources. All those names are similar to the name used by the Berbers for themselves. Emazion, late period sources give more detailed descriptions of Libya and its inhabitants. The ancient historian Herodotus describes Libya and the Libyans in his fourth book, known as the Libyan Book. Pliny the Elder, Diodorus Siculus, and Procopius also contributed to what is now primary source material on ancient Libya and the Libyans. Ibn Khaldun, who dedicated the main part of his book Kitab Elibar, which is known as the history of the Berbers did not use the names Libya and Libyans, but instead used Arabic names, the Old Maghreb, El Maghrib El Qadim, and the Berbers El Barber or El Barabara H. Topic: <laughs> Ancient Libyan Berber tribes. Topic: There were many Berber tribes in ancient Libya, including the now extinct Sili, with the Libu being the most prominent. The ancient Libyans were mainly pastoral nomads, living off their goats, sheep and other livestock. Milk, meat, hides and wool were gathered from their livestock for food, tents and clothing. 
Ancient Egyptian sources describe Libyan men with long hair, braided and beaded, neatly parted from different sides and decorated with feathers attached to leather bands around the crown of the head while wearing thin robes of antelope hide, dyed and printed, crossing the shoulder and coming down until mid-calf length to make a robe. Older men kept long braided beards. Women wore the same robes as men, plaited, decorated hair and both genders wore heavy jewelry. Depictions of Libyans in Egyptian reliefs show prominent and numerous tattoos, very similar to traditional Berber tattoos still seen today. Weapons included bows and arrows, hatchets, spears and daggers. The Libyan script that was used in Libya was mostly a funerary script. It is difficult to understand, and there are a number of variations. Ibn Khaldun divided the Berbers into the Batr and the Baranas, Herodotus divided them into Eastern Libyans and Western Libyans. Eastern Libyans were nomadic shepherds east of Lake Tritonus. Western Libyans were sedentary farmers who lived west of Lake Tritonus. At one point, a catastrophic change reduced the vast body of fresh water to a seasonal lake or marsh. Ibn Khaldun and Herodotus distinguished the Libyans on the basis of their lifestyles rather than ethnic background. Modern historians tend to follow Herodotus's distinction. Examples include Oric Bates in his book The Eastern Libyans. Some other historians have used the modern name of the Berbers in their works, such as the French historian Gabriel Camps. The Libyan tribes mentioned in these sources were Adermachidae, Gilagame, Asbisti, Marmaridae, Aushasae, Nasimones, Maki, Lotus Eaters, or Lotophagi, Garamantes, Gaetulians, Maori, and Luwati as well as many others. See also North Africa during antiquity History of North Africa Necropolis of Cyrene References and notes Topic. External links Topic. What happened to the ancient Libyans? Chasing sources across the Sahara from Herodotus to Ibn Khaldun by Richard L. Smith. Bunsen, Margaret. Libya. Encyclopedia of Ancient Egypt. New York, Facts on File, Inc. 1991 Who lived in Africa before the Roman conquest? 